I decided to purchase Steam Deck from Rocket Drop LLC since they were conveniently located in my home state, just a 25-minute drive away. Thinking it would arrive sooner, I was slightly disappointed when it took about six days. They were a bit sluggish in shipping it out. But hey, no big deal. Once I had it in my hands, I was blown away. This thing is truly amazing, living up to my high expectations. It's like having a capable low-to-low -low slash mid-tier gaming rig in the palm of your hands. If you don't have a PC right now due to the astronomical prices for components, the Steam Deck is undoubtedly your best option. Moving on to the size, the 64GB model's storage capacity. It's not much, especially if you're looking to install 3A games. For now, you can get by with a good microSD card, U3A2, as the load time differences between the SD card and the SSD are negligible at best. eMMC also isn't incredibly slower than NVMe. It's slower, yeah, but nothing crazy. The beauty of the Steam Deck is its upgradability. You can easily swap out the 64GB drive for a larger 512GB to 1TB 2230M.2 NVMe SSD by following the excellent guides from iFixit, YouTube, or even Valve themselves. I plan on doing this upgrade eventually, but for now, I'm content with using my SD card since, as I mentioned, the load time differences are negligible. It'll just be easier not to deal with shader cache storage from games taking up my space, and so on. Initially. I'll admit, I was a bit skeptical about purchasing from Rocket Drop LLC. There weren't many reviews, and a few negative ones mentioned screen issues or receiving used devices. But a lot depends on the specific seller you choose from the drop-down. In my case, it was a flawless experience, brand new in the box, with plastic still on the deck and the zippers locked with Valve's tags. I'm glad that in the last five weeks, many more people have purchased the Steam Deck from Amazon and shared positive experiences in their reviews. It's also reassuring to know that Valve honors the warranties for decks purchased through Amazon, so you can always RMA it to them if you ever have issues. The fact that I can play 3 AM MOs in the palm of my hands at a steady 30 plus FPS, not even on low settings, is mind-blowing to me. And all of this for less than $450, not to mention the astronomical prices of competitors like Ion Neo, GPD, and OnePlayer.